Welcome to the Daily English News program on Azerbaijan Television with the most important events of the day. I'm Gilad Hatamovan. President Ilham Aliyev attended the official opening ceremony of 230 megawatts Garadakh solar power plant. Azerbaijan is a special place, a nation built on thriving trade and commerce with a deep-rooted cultural history. Not far from Garadakh and Gabistan, more than 6,000 rock carvings were discovered, dating back nearly 20,000 years, depicting the stars and the sun. Thousands of years later, here at the Garadakh solar plant, we celebrate the power of that sun using it to power the 230 megawatt solar power plant and supply more than 110,000 homes with clean energy, displacing 200,000 tons of carbon emissions. As the largest solar power plant in the region, Geradakh is helping to deliver Azerbaijan's strategy to generate 30% of its energy from renewables by 2030. The UAE, through its renewable energy champion, Mazdar, is proud to be supporting Azerbaijan's renewable energy ambitions, accelerating the growth of the nation's economy by creating jobs and driving investment. Geradakh is Azerbaijan's first foreign investment-based solar energy project and Mazdar's first in the country, a testament to the power of global partnerships, collaboration and innovation. As the world looks ahead to COP28, Azerbaijan will contribute to the tripling of renewable energy capacity globally by 2030. It is another step forwards on the path to a cleaner, greener future for all. President Ilham Aliyev addressed the audience. President of Azerbaijan Ilham Aliyev described the opening of the 230 megawatt Karadakh solar PV plant as the historical moment in the country's history. Today we are very proud to see that in a relatively short period of time, something more than a year and a half, this empty plant of Apsharon Peninsula became the source of green energy. This is a remarkable achievement, said the head of state as he addressed an official inauguration of the plant. The head of state congratulated Mazdar, its leadership, for this outstanding contribution to the development of Azerbaijan and also to commitment to the country with respect to the green transition. Noting that four ministers of the UAE government are among the guests, the president of Azerbaijan described this as a good example of partnership and friendship, adding that both countries pay big imponents to today's ceremony, saying that they have big plans and he is sure that friendly and brotherly relations between UAE and Azerbaijan will continue to develop successfully. The head of state expressed his confidence there will be more projects to come. Underlining that project is the first among many to come, the head of state said they plan to work together the other two produce in phases up to 10 gigawatts of renewables. Pointing out that this will be a total revolution in the energy development of the region, the head of state noted that Azerbaijan is a country where the first oil in the world was produced in the middle of 19th century. And now, having in mind that still we are rich in fossil fuel resources, we are moving towards green agenda. This is a deliberate choice. This is our contribution not only to the future development of Azerbaijan, but to the issues related to the climate change, the president of Azerbaijan underlined. Thank you very much.
the Minister of Industry and Advanced Technologies of UAE Chamber of the Board of Mostar Sultan Ahmed Al Jaber addressed the audience. That is what we aim to achieve at the ceremonies of signing documents between the government of Azerbaijan and Mazdar Company of the United Arab Emirates was held with the participation of President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev. Azerbaijan's Minister of Energy, Parviz Shahbazov, Azerbaijan's Minister of Economy, Chairman of the Supervisory Board of Sokar, Mikhail Jabarov, and Chief Executive Officer of Mazdar Company of the United Arab Emirates, Mohammed Jamil Al Ramahi, signed investment agreement relating to Banka settlement of Nefchala District solar PV project in the Republic of Azerbaijan between the government of the Republic of Azerbaijan and Abu Dhabi Future Energy Company, Mazdar. Investment agreement relating to Belasifar District solar PV project in the Republic of Azerbaijan between the government of the Republic of Azerbaijan and Abu Dhabi Future Energy Company Mazdar and investment agreement relating to the Apsheron Garodakh region onshore wind project in the Republic of Azerbaijan between the government of the Republic of Azerbaijan and Abu Dhabi Future Energy Company Mazdar. President Al Hamaliyev received a delegation of the United Arab Emirates led by Minister of Industry and Advanced Technology Sultan Ahmed Al Jaber. President Ilham Ali, first of all, thanked the UAE delegation for participation in the official opening ceremony of the Garadagh Solar Power Plant and described it as an example of friendly relations and great respect. The head of state asked Sultan Ahmad Al Jaber to extend his thanks to UAE President Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan for participation of this country's four ministers in the event. The Azerbaijani president described the conduct of the official opening ceremony of the Garadagh Solar Power Plant as a historical event, underlining that bilateral relations span a number of other spheres. President Ilham Aliyev noted that today's meeting provided a good opportunity for discussing present situation of and prospects for the cooperation and highlighted the importance of other joint projects on the agenda for expanding bilateral ties even more. Minister of Industry and Advanced Technology of the United Arab Emirates, Sultan Ahmed Al Jabir, first of all, thanked the head of state on behalf of the delegation for great hospitality shown in Azerbaijan. He noted the high leadership of the United Arab Emirates had always noted the importance of strategic partnership with Azerbaijan as a powerful nation. Sultan Ahmed Al Jabir underscored that Azerbaijan had achieved serious successes within a short span of time to accomplish the goals set. He expressed confidence that existing ties between the two countries serve long-term partnership. At the same time, he underlined that Azerbaijan and the United Arab Emirates are committed to creation of a new example of cooperation and strategic partnership. The four silk road forum is held in the Belize. Azerbaijan is represented at the two-day meeting by a delegation headed by Prime Minister Ali Asadov. The forum, which is attended by nearly 2,000 participants from more than 60 countries, will examine factors that make regional and global trade relations effective. Prime Minister Georgi Rakli Garibashvili highlighted the significance of the collaborative projects between his country and Azerbaijan, particularly the renewable energy transportation project from the depths of the Black Sea to Europe. The Prime Minister of Azerbaijan, Ali Asad, have highlighted the significant regional projects that our country has executed over the past two decades. He observed that the demand for the transport through the middle corridor had increased, and to meet this demand, Azerbaijan collaborates with Georgia and other partners across multiple sectors, including infrastructure projects. Some of the ammunition found in the Karabakh region after the counter-terrorism operation was manufactured in 2021. This includes missiles of the TOS 1A flamethrower system. It was established that some of the guided missiles of the Kornet and Fagad and attack missile complexes were transferred from Armenia to Karabakh under the agreement signed at the end of 2020. These facts are clear evidence of illegal military transport through the Lachian Road prior to local anti-terrorism. Measures. You can get in touch with us by contacting easy to the hotline number 051-511-1956 through which you can report emails you encounter as well as share your suggestions and remarks. You can also contact us via our WhatsApp and Telegram accounts. That was all for the day. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye.